Hi everyone, in this video we will have a look at a problem of finding longest winning streak for each of the teams playing in IPL 2022. So here we have data for all the matches that have been played in the tournament and we have to find the longest winning streak for each of the teams. So uh, what do I mean by longest winning streak? So let's say, uh, let's take CSK suppose and uh, let's say in its first matches won the game and let's say in second match it lost then again it lost then again it lost and let's say after that it won consecutively four matches so again right and then it consecutively lost let's say two matches correct so let's say we have this list of matches result of list of matches played by csk right now what do we mean by winning streak so the winning streak here is let's say it continuously won here uh, one match and then after that it lost again consecutively three matches so here we have a losing streak of three matches and then again it won continuously four matches so here we have a winning streak of four matches correct so here winning streak is four and then again here we have a losing streak of two so what is the longest winning streak here so this is four right uh, here the team won one match right and here the team won continuously four matches so the maximum of one and four is four so the longest winning streak will be four this is how we are going to find uh, the longest winning streak for each of the teams that played in the tournament so now let's have a look at this data first so this is formatted as a table this complete data and here we have the match numbers and here we have team 1 team 2 and the winner of the uh, match correct so here let's say uh, CSK and KKR played and the winner was KKR now uh, here we are not given with the loser so we are going to find uh, the loser from this data and how we are going to do that so we will use unique function for that purpose now let's see how we can use that so first of all let's do one thing <laughs> let's use first drop function so equals to drop now why i'm use using drop function you will get to know so let's as our array select this complete table and from columns let's do uh, let's let's drop the first column of this table right we don't need match number for finding loser uh, from this data so let's do this and we have only the rest of the three columns from this data so now what we will do is we will uh, go through each of these rows so we will use by row function so equals to by row and uh, let's say this is our array and as our function what we will do is we will specify lambda and let's say we uh, denote each of the rows by x right and what we want to do is for each of the rows we want to find unique right and as our array we will specify x here again and as our by call parameter we will uh, pr press true here and again for this exactly once parameter we will pass true here right so this is uh, uh, what we want to do right and we will now press enter so uh, what we are essentially doing is from this uh, let's say from this row we are finding the unique value which is only occurring once so here csk is only occurrence once so that means it has lost the match correct so that is the result that we are getting here so he here as you can see that we got csk we got mi as it lost the match we got rcb as it lost the match and so on now comes our next task so let's say we want to get the list of all the teams that played in the tournament so how we will do that so for that we will use again equals to and again unique function and right now we will not require the other two parameters by calling exactly once and inside this array parameter we will specify this v stack here so v stack and as our array one we will pass this team one as our parameter and array two will be team two correct and let's close the bracket press enter and we got the unique list of all the teams that played in the tournament correct now why did we do this v stack because it might be the case that let's say csk is there sometimes in team one and sometimes it is there in team two let's say so that's why we uh, did this v stack part correct now how we will approach this so first of all let's do the winning let, let's find out the maximum winning streak only for csk suppose so how we will do this so we will simply apply a condition so equals to we will use if s function and let's say our logical test is if winner equals to 
let's let's take gt suppose let's take gt so if winner equals to gt then we want w right w for win and if loser equals to gt again we will select this gt cell in which we have gt we want l right l for loser and uh, whatever else the case is let's say we uh, use true condition here so any other condition is true suppose then what we want is we want let's say zero correct so let's say we want zero so we will press enter and as you can see we have got our array resultant array and uh, here we are getting w right so gt won here so that's why we are getting w here so let's find uh, a losing match for gt so here we have l so here gt lost actually right here it uh, uh, here srh won and gt lost so here we are getting l right so this is how we have uh, generated this array so now what we will do is from this array we will filter out this zero here because we don't require that and for that what we will do is we will again use filter function filter and as our array parameter we will pass this array and as our include uh, condition we will pass this array again not equal to zero correct close the bracket press enter and we have got the array with uh, the results of all the matches played by gt here correct so in first first three matches it won the matches and then it lost then again continuously it won five matches it continuously then lost two matches won two matches and then again it lost now we have this set of information so we can say that the longest winning streak for gt here is again five matches right because here we have winning streak of three then five then two so the maximum of two three five is five now this uh, from this uh, exactly we cannot find the winning streak so we have to translate this thing into numbers uh, so that we can use any max operation or uh, uh, that kind of function so what we will do is we will translate this thing into numbers and how we will do it we will actually group uh, each of the streaks so let's say here we have uh, the winning streak so here we will use let's say one two three so we have grouped this uh, part and then we have lost the match so what we will do is we will again group this and let's say th its count is one and then we have uh, won five matches continuously so then again we will group this so one two three four and five then again another group for this one so one two then again one two and then again one so this is what we want to do let's say we have generated this part and then we can use the max function max if function so equals to max if right max if s and as our max range we will pass let's say this array and as our criteria range we will again pass this array right and as our criteria what we will pass we will pass w here right we, because we want to find the maximum winning streak so again let's close the bracket press enter and we have got five as our result correct so this is how we are going to do but we want to make this thing as well dynamic so this is uh, what we fed manually but we want to make it dynamic so let's delete this right so let's use a scan function here so equals to scan and let's say as our initial value we pass zero here and as our array what we will do is we will pass equals to sequence and uh, again in this rows and so number of rows in this array right this will be 14 here because gt played 14 matches so this is the result of these 14 matches so again uh, let's close this so what we are doing is as our array parameter we will passing 1 2 3 4 5 till 14 a sequence of 14 numbers right and uh, now we will write our function so equals to lambda and let's say our uh, previous value is x and current value is y and uh, now we will start writing our function so what we will do is uh, let's press alt enter and let's write our condition so we will use fs function so if y equals to 1 then we want 1 because for first match whatever it is it is a lo uh, loss or a win we want 1 uh, for that uh, first number so we want 1 here right and uh, as our second condition what we will pass is we will compare the current state that is the current result let's say we are standing on third match and what we will do is we will look at the previous result so if previous result is not equal to current result then we want to change our group 
correct and if it's the same we want to continue it with that particular group only so let's translate this logic correct into formula so what we will do is equals to index and in our index parameter again we will pass this array uh, right and we want to index y right uh, y it's uh, row number from that particular array and uh, let's say if it is equal to uh, index of again this array comma y minus one right previous one if it is equal to previous one then we want to add one number right one two three so for that particular group so what we will do is we will add one to that number so x plus one else what we want is if any other condition is true so if any other condition is true we want one in uh, that place because our group has then changed in any other condition so we will again close all the brackets press enter and we have got the same result right as we got earlier and we are getting five here right so one two three then again one then our group changed so one two three four five then one and so on correct so now that we have generated for this particular one team that is gt we will do this uh, same operation for all the teams that played in played in the tournament so uh, now again uh, let's use let function for that purpose so equals to uh, let and let's uh, name our uh, first parameter as team so equals to team right so equals to team and let's use comma and let's say our team is this gt here right and we want let's say team back so equals to team and close the bracket now uh, we will again go here and let's copy this formula so let's copy this Th let's copy this logic and let's say we uh, name uh, our next study as a right and let's paste this formula here so again our ipl winner column here will be fixed and what we want to make variable is this team name right so here in place of i10 we will use team variable here and again this g3 that is loser variable will be fixed so again in place of i10 we will use uh, again team here team variable so again team variable and let's print this a right let's get back this a from the resultant array and let's press enter so we are getting the same array back and next one what we want to do is we want to filter this so uh, let's copy this again so let's copy this and let's go to our let function so again what we will do is let's name our next variable at as b so now uh, we will paste this formula here and as our array now what we will pass we will pass a and again for uh, this second condition as well we will pass a here right and uh, as a result what we want to get back from uh, let function we want to get back array b correct so uh, we are getting the results right we are getting closer actually so now as our next array what we want to do is we want to uh, get this array back of uh, grouping the grouping that we did so uh, again we copy this and let's name this uh, next variable as c and let's paste the formula here and now what we will do is as our uh, uh, so this in place of this k3 we will pass b here and in place of this k3 again we will pass b here and again in place of k3 we will pass this b here and as our uh, result from this let function what we want to get is we want to get c right and let's press enter so we are getting uh, the same result here right and then our last uh, part is left so we will again copy this and let's come here and and since this is our uh, last part so we will not use any variable name we will simply uh, write this formula here and in place of this uh, address uh, what we will use we will again use c here and in case uh, in place of k3 hash that is you know, the array of all the 14 match results so in place of this we will use again b here and let's close the bracket uh, so we are uh, getting error here so this max if function uh, doesn't seem to work like we wanted it to do so what we will do is uh, uh, let's say equals to and let's filter 
सो लेट्स डू इट हियर लेट्स से सो इक्वल्स टू फिल्टर एंड एज आर अरे पैरामीटर वी विल पास दिस एज आर एरे राइट एंड एज आर इंक्लूड पैरामीटर वॉट वी विल डू इज वी विल इंक्लूड दिस एरे इक्वल्स टू डब्ल्यू राइट एंड लेट्स क्लोज द ब्रैकेट प्रेस एंटर एंड वी हैव गॉट बैक द फिल्टर्ड लिस्ट एंड देन वी विल अप्लाई मैक्स फंक्शन राइट सो इक्वल्स टू मैक्स एंड देन लेट्स क्लोज दिस ब्रैकेट राइट सो वी आर गेटिंग द सेम रिजल्ट बैक सो दिस मैक्स फंक्शन मैक्स फंक्शन विल नॉट वर्क विद दिस एरे फॉर्मूला बट दिस माइट वर्क सो लेट्स ट्राई दिस सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस एंड लेट्स कम हियर and in place of this max if s what we will do is we will paste this uh, formula here and in place of this reference we will pass c here and in place of this k3 hash reference we will pass b here right and press enter so we are getting our results so this max if s function was not working with our let function and uh, so we use this alternative right and now we don't require all these helper columns as well so we will delete these right and let's move this uh, cell here right and now we, what we want is we want to uh, go through each of these teams so right now we are doing uh, uh, we are calculating the maximum winning streak only for gt but we want to calculate for all of these teams so again we will use uh, we can use map or uh, by row function here so we will use map function right map and as our array we will pass uh this array this array of team names and now let's use lambda so equals to lambda and let's name each of these uh, rows or each of these items as let's say q uh, right or uh, in place of q we can use actually team here right team variable so team and what we can do is now uh, we can uh, delete this team variable from this let function right so let's delete this and let's close the bracket here right and let's press enter so we are getting our results back right so maximum winning streak for gt as we saw was 5 the maximum winning streak for uh, srh is again 5 the maximum winning streak for csk is 1 right and you can cross check the answer as well uh, okay so this is how we have uh, calculated the maximum winning streak for each of these teams also i have one challenge for you so let's say a team lost all its 14 matches so in that case the winning streak has to be zero right but the formula that we are currently using or that we built step by step will result in uh, error so obviously you can use if error function and resolve that thing but what i want you to do is uh, that within this complete formula i want you to figure out that part in which as a part of that particular function you can resolve that error right so that is the challenge here and uh, i hope you would uh, post the solution in the comment section right so uh, from for next ipl i think on basis of this cricket anal analytics that we did you can pick your favorites for next season so that's it for this video i hope you would like this video and please do share it with your friends and uh, please do hit the subscribe and the like button if you really enjoyed this video because actually i uh, really did enjoyed it while making the video and also while solving this particular problem so thanks a lot and also one thing that you can convert this uh, uh, form easily into a uh, lambda function and you can reuse that function ag again and again for your other purposes but the main idea was to show you uh, different kind of things like the trick that we did here using uh, unique function we use drop function here by row function here so th those kind of tricks you can use in some uh, other tasks as well right like we use the v stack uh, trick here uh, like we use the grouping here right using scan function and all those things so that was the main part so thanks a lot for watching this and hope to see you in more such videos in future thank you